This video is sponsored by DisabilityQuotes.com. They have been helping residents and also practicing physicians find the right type of disability insurance for the past 20 years. This type of insurance ensures that your income continues when you cannot continue practicing medicine. It's important, so important that I personally have disability insurance. Click on the link below in the description for a free quote from them today. What's up everyone, this is Dr. Webb here. In this video today, I'm gonna to talk about the different specialties in medicine. There are lots of different routes that you can take once you become a doctor. You can do various uh, number of things. I want to talk about a few uh, specialties and some options for you guys. Hopefully you're watching my series, Careers in Medicine, where I feature and interview different professionals in various fields of medicine to expose you, you all to different uh, fields as well. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the different, some different specialties or different uh, career options in medicine. There are lots of different specialties in medicine. Most people decide on a specialty their third or third year of medical school after you do your clinical rotations. Some people, very few, know exactly what they want to do going into medical school. Other people figure that out after their clinical rotations, such, such as me. I didn't decide on orthopedic surgery until the end of my third year because that's when I did my ortho rotation and I was like, oh, I like this. Uh, but I knew, I kind of knew that I wanted to do surgery going into medical school. But if you decide late, like I did, I was a late, it was a late decision for me to apply to orthopedics. That's okay too. People change their mind. I initially wanted to do emergency medicine. And then I thought about doing urology, but I didn't want to be called the penis doctor all my life. There's nothing wrong with that, but I have that name. Urology, I do a lot of cool procedures, but I like working with my hands. And I think it comes down to whether you want to use your head more or use your hands. If you're more of a cerebral thinker or if you're more of a doer, and you can have a combination of both. There's uh, specialties that comprise uh, lots of thinking as well as lots of procedures. So. Some specialties that are out there, there's family medicine, which is usually around three years. This is kind of your primary care physicians who take care of patients, mostly in the clinic, and they see a lot of clinic patients. They manage your blood pressure, your, your, um, your cholesterol, your, your well checks. So they take care of patients from early like babies to older patients. Um, so they actually can do some deliveries of, as well. And residency is usually three years. The next one is pediatrics. This is usually a three-year residency as well. And these are the uh, doctors who you take your babies to in the clinic or they see them in the, in the hospital and they take care of your baby when, once your baby's born. Something along those lines is OBGYN, gynecology, which is uh, they do illness checks for women. They uh, deliver babies. They do uh, surgery in the pelvis, the genital region. So oh, these are surgeons, OBGYNs, and, and your residency, I believe, is four years. Another specialty is anesthesiology, which is a pretty popular one. Residency is usually a one-year transitional year, then additional three years of residency. And these are the people who put our patients to sleep in surgery. So they do all type of procedures like central lines, arterial lines. They do all different types of different procedures that you can specialize, subspecialize into pain medicine. You can subspecialize into pediatric anesthesia, cardiothoracic anesthesia. Uh, so you can do lots of different things in the field of uh, anesthesiology. The next uh, field I would say is plastic surgery, which is pretty competitive. You can either go a general surgery route and then apply to plastic surgery, or you can go directly into an integrated program that has plastic surgery kind of built into it. Plastic surgeons, you, kind of, you guys kind of know what they do. Uh, dermatology is really appealing and a good field to go into. It's really competitive and really extremely hard to get into. Uh, the few people that I know who did dermatology, they took a year off and did research in med school. So instead of four years of med school, they did five years with that research year. 
And uh, if you want to be get into a competitive field, this is something that you may have to do. Another specialty is urology. Like I said, I was interested in urology as a medical student. Uh, they do a lot of procedures around the prostate, any type of intra uh, um, in your pelvis type surgeries or any type of lesions in the pelvis. They do uh, lots of different things that, um, lots of different procedures. So it's a really procedural based uh, specialty. And you make good money uh, doing it as well. The next specialty is endocrinology. Endocrinologists, they manage patients with uh, endocrine issues, whether that's pituitary problems, your thyroid gland, your um, adrenal glands, any problems of the endocrine system. And that's a specialty you have to do internal medicine first and then do a fellowship uh, in endocrinology. The next specialty is neonectology, which is a a specialty that deals with the uh, preemies or the babies who are born kind of uh, early, babies that are in the intensive care unit or the, or the uh, NICU. And I believe you have to do a pediatric residency and then apply for a neonatology fellowship, but that is another option as well. Another specialty is pain medicine, and these are people who manage patients who have chronic pain. Lots of different patients who Medicine doctors can't do anything for, the surgical doctors can't do anything for, and their only option is basically pain control. So there's doctors who manage patients' pain. That's their sole job is to manage pain, whether this is injections, pain medications, different procedures, spinal cord stimulators. This is basically their job. And you can go be a pain doctor. You can do anesthesiology residency first and be a pain doctor, or you can, do, you can go uh, uh, physiatry or uh, physical medicine and rehab doctor and then specialize in pain that way and that's the next specialty is physiatry which it's a field that is not talked about as much but these are the rehab doctors and patients who get a spinal cord injury or patients who fall and break their hip or patients who have dementia or stroke and they can't take care of themselves at home or a nursing home they go to a rehab center and the doctors at this rehab center who manage their overall care are the physiatrists, and that's PMR, uh, phys a physical medicine and rehab doctors. So that is a uh, specialty uh, option as well. General surgery is another option. These are the uh, surgeons. When you come into the ER as a trauma patient or if you have a appendicitis or uh, your gallbladder is inflamed, these are the people patient uh, the uh, doctors who take care of you in an emergency situation so you can specialize into plastic surgery after that you can do bariatric surgery you can do uh, colon surgery you can do uh, lots of different things in the uh, general surgery realm or you can go into state private practice and or just do general uh, be a general generalist a general surgeon orthopedic surgery it's the best I may be biased when I say that but Orthopedic surgery, uh, we do lots of different procedures, pretty much any part of the body except the belly, the brain, the face. That's about it. We do spine surgery, we do hand surgery, we do foot and ankle, we do hip and knee surgery, we do joint replacements in the hip, we do shoulder and elbow. Um, there's lots of different fellowships you can do after orthopedic surgery. You can do spine surgery, which, uh, which is what I'm doing. I'm just, I just matched uh, recently. Check out my uh, the match video and I'll put it right up here. You can do shoulder and elbow, which means you'll be a specialist and you'll be an orthopedic surgeon, but you will specialize in shoulder replacements, rotator cuff injuries, any type of problems with your shoulder. So you're a shoulder expert. expert. You can do a uh, hand surgeon. You'd be a hand surgeon. So any problems with the hand, carpal tunnel, trigger finger, fractures of the hand, deformities of the hand. You can do hip and knee replacements. So these these are the doctors, the orthopedic surgeons, who specialize in joint replacement. So if a patient needs a knee replacement or the hip replace, or they need a revision, which means their primary surgery failed for some reason, you go to a joint replacement doctor. You can do a foot and ankle. You can specialize in that, that that's, that's another uh, option. Or in oncology, which is cancer of the bone or soft tissue. So lots of different options and not only medicine, but also in different fields, you can sub-specialize. 
and there's a lot of different mixtures of whether one goes into private practice versus one goes into academics and I'll make another video about the differences between those two. Uh, radiology is another specialty you can go into. I have a video about a gentleman who works from home so if that's an option for someone who doesn't like going into the hospital you can actually read x-rays from your home and get paid for it. So he sits at home, that's his office, and he reads, reads x-rays. Uh, pathology is another specialty. You can do nephrology, a doctor of the kidneys. So there are lots of different specialties uh, out there in medicine. I'm pretty sure I forgot a few or a number of them, a lot of them. But thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe. New videos come in every week. You don't want to miss these videos. Stay tuned.